We are very excited to show off our new Splashtop Remote Access functionality. The first thing you should know is that Splashtop is being included at no additional charge and will be available to all of your technicians for every asset you have the Synchro Agent installed on. The second thing is that this is a per policy setting, meaning it can be disabled or enabled for any subset of your assets. This item here is what can disable Splashtop on a per policy basis. The second one here shifts the assets on this policy from having unattended access, meaning you can freely access this machine whenever needed, to attended access, meaning the end user has to accept the incoming request prior to the remote connection being established. The last item here allows you to customize the connection notifications your end users will receive when you connect to their machine. You can use several variants of your MSP name and the technician's name. Any remote connections to end user machines requires the Synchro Agent, meaning there is no one-off or SOS style support. We've broken out remote access and backgrounding tools, formerly known as Synchro Live, which is our suite of utilities such as our remote registry editor, command line, task manager, etc. You can click the backgrounding tools to immediately launch them, or you can use the drop-down menu to select a specific utility to navigate directly into. The Remote Access button works in largely the same way. Clicking the Remote Access button will immediately launch a Splashtop session. If you have any Bring Your Own Remote Access integrations enabled, like Screen Connect or TeamViewer, those will be accessible in the drop-down here. These buttons, or their icon variants, will appear everywhere you'd expect them to, like on your Asset Lists, Asset Quick Views, Chat, and the Quick Access Shortcuts in the search results. Now if you're using the BYO version of Splashtop, or your customer already has Splashtop installed themselves, both that version and our version will run side by side, but only one connection will be allowed to the machine at the same time. Splashtop sessions will be logged in the Assets Activity History, including a clear start and stop time, along with the duration of each session. These actions will be fully searchable in our Asset Audit Report as well. When remotely accessing a machine, you'll have some standard menu controls here along the top. You have one for switching between monitors if the customer has more than one. You'll find some frame rate and scaling options, a full screen toggle, a control alt delete toggle, and some miscellaneous options for things like blanking the end user's screen, locking their mouse and keyboard, etc. There is also options for file transfers and basic standalone chat functionality as well. Technicians can connect to as many machines at the same time as they'd like, but only one technician can be connected to the same machine at the same time. When technicians launch a remote session and another connection exists, that other connection will be disconnected. When an end user launches a remote session and another connection exists, they'll be notified another connection already exists and it will not disconnect the existing session. We have security permissions you can enable or disable to give your technicians the ability to remotely access machines, and we've added a new permission doing the same for our suite of backgrounding tools as well. We've added another new security permission that allows your text to enable remote access on behalf of any specific contact at any given customer. Speaking of end user access, this can be enabled on a per contact basis by simply checking the Enable Remote Access checkbox on the applicable customer or contact record. This will allow your end user to launch remote access sessions from our customer portal. While Splashtop is included for all Synchro users at no additional cost, enabling end-user remote access does incur a cost. This is billed at a rate of $5 per contact. Note this is per contact, not per endpoint, meaning if the contact is assigned to multiple assets, or the contact has rights to see all of their endpoints, then they'll be able to remotely access all of those machines for the same $5 per contact price. Like all add-ons within Synchro, this too flows into our dynamic recurring invoicing system. We've added this new remote access contact counter that will dynamically count the maximum number of contacts with remote access enabled for this customer in any given month, alter the count on your invoice, and bill accordingly without you having to lift a finger. Lastly, we are planning on adding Splashtop support to our new Mac agent over the coming months. On release, you'll be able to remotely access machines from a Mac, it's the two that we'll be actively working on. We're also looking to add remote connections from our iOS and Android apps sometime later this year. So that's our new Splashtop feature.